again we're going to teach you how to find the point of intersection between a line and a plane all right and this question they are asking you to find the position vector of the point of intersection between the line and the plane so doesn't matter we just find the point of intersection between the line and plane first between this line and this plane right so uh, and as you know that we want to find intersection point between the line and the plane so we have to write the equation of line uh, in parametric form all right we have to convert this whole thing into a parametric form so it means that x minus 5 will be t 3 minus y over 4 will be t and z plus 1 over 2 will be t right everything in term of t so will be 5 plus t and where else for this will be uh, y equals to y equals to 3 plus 4t right uh, so that you can rewrite this whole thing to be uh, 3 minus y equals to 40 uh, 3 minus 40 sorry is 3 negative uh, 4t so and the other one z will be negative 1 plus bit 2t so you have write all of this in parametric form uh, because I'm going to substitute all the x, y, z here into the equation of the uh, plane, right? Uh, which must be in Cartesian form. So why we can substitute all this value into the plane? Because that if, 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 if we say that this line intersect the plane, this means that the point on the line, that particular point is fall on the plane, right? It lies on the planes that's why we can substitute the value here to find the value of t uh, for what for what value of t such that the the point on the line that fall on this plane so we substitute and we're getting 2x uh, 5 plus t plus bit y 3 minus 40 plus bit 3z uh, z negative 1 plus 2t equals to 12 uh, we, we're rearranging this and we find the value of t, right? 10 plus 2t plus 3 minus 4t, negative 3 plus 6t, all equals to 12, right? So, uh, 2, negative 2, negative 2 plus 6, we have 4t, right? Uh, so, equates to 10 plus 3, uh, 3 minus 3 is 0, so we have 10 here. 12 minus 10, we have 2. So we've given you the value t to be half, right? Uh, with this value of t, it's enough for us to find the value of x, y, z for the coordinates of uh, the point of intersection between the equation and the plane, which x will be 5 plus bit 1 over 2, and y will be 3 minus bit 4, 1 over 2, and z will be negative 1 plus bit 2 multiply 1 over 2. So as we get the value of x, which is 5, uh, 1 over 2, or 5.5, .5, or we said uh, 11 over 2. And y will be 2, 2, 4, 3 minus 2, we are getting 1, right? Uh, we are getting 1, and finally, your z, you are getting negative 1 plus 1, you are getting 0. So the point of intersection of this plane and the line is 11 over 2, 1 and 0. But uh, now we refer back to the question because they're asking us to find a position vector, right? Position vector is not a direction vector. It's just a location of the coordinates here. So the position vector. So the position vector of this point will be very easy. I just write with 11 over 2i uh, plus with 1j plus with 0k, right? Uh, so this is the position vector of the point of intersection between the line and the plane, right? Hope you understand the concept of uh, uh, and the methods of finding the intersection point between a line and a plane.